Hi guys, welcome back on my channel. Today I will show you all the hints and tips how to do your right hand with your left hand. If you're right-handed, of course, then this is going to be a big struggle. Uh, so I will be doing a rebounds on my kneels with not dominant hand. It is always e easier to find a kneel tech uh, which is going to do the set for you. But then are you going to be happy 100% or is she going to do the job the way you want? Or are you going to have a time for that? And uh, I find it uh, really difficult to do the rebounds on my right hand uh, by my left hand on the beginning. But actually, the more I have been doing it, the easier it becomes. So I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. So you can see my kneels uh, and here these three have been already infilled so the thumb, ring finger and the pinky and I have left those two to show you how I do the rebalance on my right hand uh, with my not dominant hand uh, which is pretty difficult and quite a uh, few of you have asked me how I do it. So on those two kneels I had the baby boomer which was two weeks old I only filed the white part so I left any lifting which you can see it there is a tiny bit of the lifting on this corner uh, plus tiny bit on this one. I usually get a minimal lifting on this hand because uh, it's really difficult to do it. But I will show you all my tips and uh, hints how to do it so it's much easier for you. So basically I'm always starting with pushing back the cuticles. So I'll just push back the cuticles. The growth is not the largest one, as I said, and uh, with this technique, the rebalance, if it's a salon kneel, like really short ones, actually I break the record, so the quickest one I can do it is, was 34 minutes uh, from two years ago, which was 36 minutes, and that's including the gel polish application. Um, but uh, the reason for it is I do not encapsulate the things too deep, so that is not as much of the filing. So basically what I'm doing in here now is only blending any lifting the gel with the natural new. And same in here, you can see there is a tiny bit of the lifting. So I'm just going to blend that out with my natural new. Very difficult to do it with this hand, but um, as you requested, I thought I'm going to show you how I do it. So once I have blended the difference, um, I can reshape the kneels. So I will be holding the file like this. And it's not a big shape because uh, they're not too bad with the shape. So only a wee touches. I still got a tiny bit of the white gel left in here. And I find that if I go with the file all over, all over the place, I have no clue what is going on later on. So the easiest way for me to file it is keep the file like this. So full contact with the kneel. And this way I, I can have kind of better pressure, especially for this hand. And I can do a much nicer job. So do exactly the same on this kneel. And now just remove the dust so I can see if there is any more lifting or is there any area of the natural kneel which needs to uh, get a few scratches so the product sticks in. So I can see I managed to get rid of those lifting in here. And just in case with the corner of the file, I'm going to itch the natural kneel again. So the corner of the file and I'm just itching the natural kneel again. And again with this motion I've got much more control over what is going on and it's much easier to do the right hand with the left. Same here, I've got still some white space, so I'm just making sure it's all nicely prepped. Perfect, so that's my natural kneel prepped. You can see there is no lifting and there is no shiny surface of the natural kneel. The next step is to remove the dust and dehydrate the kneel. So I'm going to use the blue scrap, which is a kneel dehydrator, and just clean them well.
My next step is to use the Neil Prep. It's an extra dehydrator, but I find it is actually gives me a really good adhesion of the products to the natural Neil. And then the Universal Air Bond, which I love again because you don't have to cure it in a lamp, so that's lots of time saving. So I'm just applying it on top of the natural nail. Then my gel brush, and I always clean my gel brush um, so there is no dust on it. And the color we are going to use is a light rose. And look at this package! I couldn't like ask for um, a better coverage uh, of the gels. Uh, so that was a really big surprise for me. That's a new perfect new fiber gels. And I love this crystals. So this one is uh, actually, no, that's light rose. Yeah, we can actually use this one, why not? I'm going to put it on the side. So for the not dominant hand, I need to pick up the brush, the gel on the brush from this side. And that's what I'm going to do it. So I'm just picking up on the one side, make sure you've got it only on the one side. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just removing the product from my knee, uh, from my brush and gently massage it in. Like I apply very thin layer on the entire nail. Nice and thin layer. Right through the end. I do the same on the other nail. So I make sure I've, you've got clean pickup of the product because that's make your job much easier. I quite like to help myself as well with the side, so quite often I pull the new folds down so I can get the product everywhere. And again, if you will, the neater you will work, the easier it is going to be. Now I'm picking up a bigger scope of the product because I need to build up my apex now. Actually, I don't need to build it, I need to move it closer to the cuticle. So, very gentle. And because I've got plenty product at the free edge, I don't need to apply there much of the product. This thin layer is going to be plenty. So I'm really concentrating only at moving my apex. Good tip as well, if you've got something where you could press against to just uncover those um, side, is good because this way you get a better shape. So that's basically my nail almost done. I'm not going to play anymore because the gel is going to self-level a little bit and there's no point to do that. I'm picking up another scoop of the product and moving into the next nail. So basically what you want to do is you want the product to work for you, like you don't want to do too many movements, you just really want to help push the product into the right direction. And now I'm just smoothing it out at the free edge. And again, I've got my apex moved. There is a little excess of the product in this part, so I could either touch it with the gel brush and move it. it or I could just leave it and file it, either way is good. I'm going to give it a cure now, so you can see the side view and the front view. So that's the quickest way to do the rebalance, like obviously with this hand, it, with this hand, it takes much longer time, because uh, we have to work much slower. But uh, I find it, it works well in a salon. So there is no point of removing too much product, like keep it nice and shaped and then just move your apex closer to the cuticle, really. Um, I need to give it 60 seconds cure and I'm not going to speed up those curing process because I don't want uh, lifting on this hand because it's quite difficult to do it anyway. So I usually try to do it as uh, best as possible. But look at those blink, like I'm so, so chuffed and happy with those gels. It's the first time when I'm trying them and I find that they are really soft in the consistency like they 
a really jelly um, so really nice to work with like they feel like they are not moving too much but at the same time you can play with them like they really gentle like you don't use your brush too heavy on them um, and as you could see it like they're really nice to work with so I'm really excited and I will be also testing it now on those needles how well the product lasts as well it's called a fiber gel from the Neil Perfect and it's supposed to be really good even for the problematic needles so I'm going to test it if I'm not getting any lifting on it after like four or five weeks that's mean okay it's, it's worth to give it a try on my problematic clients and I give you a feedback for that as well because I'm really curious so this hand is filled like and I've got the gel applied on the needles. Now I'm going to remove the inhibition layer. And we need to file the final shape of them. And again, I give you the tips how I do it. So the best way to file it is blend around the cuticle area. So that's my cuticle area here. So I'm going to blend these parts here. All of that needs to be blended. And as you can see, I'm kind of helping myself with the right hand quite a lot so basically I do the filing with this hand especially around the cuticle area that's what I'm starting with the second kneel but exactly the same around the cuticle area Fab. So the cuticle area is blended and now the next step is to get the shape right and this is a coffin shape so we need to go actually I show you on the files so the coffin shape goes like this eh, this way there we are it goes like this and that's the way we want to file it like you you don't want to go too round so the straight file is quite handy as well and what I'm doing is I'm keeping my file at the same angle so the other one goes like this the side so I'm touching and don't put too much pressure because if you do then you miss shape so by doing this my file removes the excess of the product from this place and keep it at nice and shape and then I do it the same on the other side so just keep it at this angle don't put too much pressure on it because then the file will remove the wrong places so you can see those lines how they go like this do the same on this one they always misshaped anyway a little bit because uh, it's really really difficult to file this hand but I find that this works pretty well for me and again I have to watch it how I file this one I check different angle and they pretty okay not too bad so what I'm going to do now is I need to check this angle and I want to make sure it's all nice and smooth I can see this side is actually a little bit dropping so I'm going to touch it and the next move is to go and file all over again this is the easiest way to file this hand so I'm going to do into those motion so the new shell new has a sick curve shape and I'm just following following this shape and what it is going to do is it will smooth out my apex but don't over file it and remove the excess of the product only on the places which it needed. Okay, so it's already start looking better. I do the same on the other hand. And I show you guys another trick, you will really like it, especially for a coffin shape. Cool, so they already start looking much better. I'm just going to remove the dust so you can see it. And I show you another trick. So another trick is I turn my hand upside down and I go with the file like this. One side, other side. One side, other side. So this way I kind of even out my side walls and the new shape looks much better as well. I check overall, it's not too bad. I'm going to leave it because the rest we will do with the buffer. And I've got my buffer here. 
So with the buffer, I kind of repeat the same movement like I did with the file. But the quickest way is just to go with your right hand so you don't have to use your left hand. So your left hand is really holding the buffer and you do all the job with your right hand where you've got the most control of it. Quite important for a coffin shape is to go in those motion as well. Like, so we remove the excess of the product on those sides. So you're going at the angle. Yeah, blend around the cuticle area and then that's us done. I will show you. I'll just go very, very quick. There we are. So I'm going to remove the dust again. I can see this side is more difficult for me just to reach it. So I'm going to touch it a little bit more with the file, just like this. buff it and that's it really finished so that's the way i do the rebalance and that's exactly the same technique i would use it uh, in a salon for the clients obviously they take much shorter time because you've got both hands to work with um, but yeah i show you the final shape of those needles so i hope you have really enjoyed watching this uh, tutorial on how to do the plain rebalance with your left hand on your right hand uh, because that will save you lots of hassle and a time um, I kind of have to master it and how to do it because uh, I didn't want to spend too much uh, time on my natural uh, on my needles uh, when doing the rebalance but yeah thanks guys for watching bye